Hello, everyone. Monica here. And um, today I'm going to have a quick, a quick overview of uh, what I have been studying. I've been studying this uh, very interesting course. It's an online course by um, the Harvard, the Department of Health and, uh, and Nutrition. And today there was a chapter that I really, really enjoyed. It's, um, it's called Nurture or Nature versus Nurture. And um, basically, I don't know why I don't see myself on the screen, but um, I think, oh, that's beautiful. I've been talking and this thing wasn't on. That's wonderful. I did it only, you know, like 20 times. And there's always, um, there's always something that uh, I can't see, I can't hear. So for someone who was terrorized of being in front of a live on a live, I think I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> so I know, I know. So what is it? I mean, is uh, obesity, is obesity caused by, by the genes or is it, is it inheritable? Do you inherit it or it's, um, it's actually caused by the environment? And uh, what I learned is that uh, it's basically mainly inherited, mainly inherited, but there is, uh, um, there's a chance that you can change things with your lifestyle and uh, your diet. So um, one thing I didn't know was that um, there are these um, two hormones. One is called leptin, L-E-P-T-I-N. And um, what it does, this hormone, it um, basically tells your, um, your brain that you are satisfied and you don't want to eat and you don't need to eat um, anymore. So um, these leptin levels are, are always elevated in obese people. Okay. And um, now there's another hormone called ghrelin. It's G-H-R-E-L-I-N. It's the hunger hormone. And um, this is a hormone that um, it's produced by the stomach cells. And it makes perfect sense. It, it actually goes up before you eat and uh, it goes down after you eat. Uh, and it increases. It's... Um, now it makes sense. All these people, you know, when they may do this diet, right after they finish the diet, they may lose some weight, but these levels of ghrelin are so high, like they're hungry all the time, that they gain weight right away. This may be the reason why, you know, most diets don't work. And um, now the only, the only thing that they have uh, seen results with is this gastric by bypass surgery. It shows that the levels of this ghrelin hormone decreases after surgery. So, um, and, and, and then there are also many other studies where they, um, they compared um, individuals who uh, had different types of diet, mainly, um, you know, a plant-based diet it decreased obesity and also uh, sugar, sugar drinks, um, the intake of uh, higher sugar drinks increased the amounts of um, obesity uh, levels and, um, and also exercise. They did also studies with different individuals and they realized that, um, well, this is quite, it was kind of obvious for me, but, um, it, um, it emphasized that uh, exercise and a change in lifestyle can, can improve the, the situation. So, so in general, in summary, you can say that um, 
that uh, obesity uh, is uh, inheritable and you may change a few uh, a few things by changing your diet and changing uh, your lifestyle and these two hormones are responsible for um, very interesting this is very interesting leptin and ghrelin leptin is the uh, it's called satiety the one that uh, tells you that you're satisfied and you don't want to eat anymore and uh, ghrelin is um, the heart hunger hormone um, that it really affects your uh, behavior in terms of uh, eating eating behaviors so so that's that i hope uh, I hope that was useful. I, I didn't know about these uh, um, hormones and uh, it, it just uh, makes sense for people who, um, who have this, uh, this issue to, to look into, especially, I know it's a procedure, but uh, the one that, that really seems to be working is the gastric bypass surgery. Uh, and all these diets, one of the reasons why they fail is because these levels of um, of girling increase exponentially right after uh, the diet ends. So I hope that was useful for you or for whoever you know you you think may may need this information. This course is uh, is amazing. It's um, it it doesn't really cost much and it's online. And you can learn so many things about nutrition and health, and and it's um, offered by by Harvard the School of Nutrition. Thank you so much, and um, I'll see you next time with some extra information about this course. It's ongoing. I still have a long way to go, but um, you know, it's uh, I wanted to share with you this uh, uh, interesting fact. I hope everybody everybody's having a wonderful evening. And have a wonderful weekend and hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ciao.